Now we come to the purpose of the kingdom and verses 3 through 5, and I'm reading verse 3. And shall make him of quick understanding in the fear of the Lord. He shall not judge after the sight of his eyes, neither reprove after the hearing of his ears. But with righteousness shall he judge the poor and reprove with equity for the meek of the earth. And he shall smite the earth with the rod of his mouth and with the breath of his lips shall he slay the wicked. And it's the wicked one. He'll slay the wicked one. Now, this is when Satan is having his heyday here upon the earth during the great tribulation period. And there's no deliverance for the world at that time that's humanly speaking. And even Israel cries out, my help comes not from the north or the south, east or west. There's none there. It comes from above. And at that time, the Messiah comes and he establishes his kingdom. And the reason for the Lord Jesus coming to this earth, the purpose is quite evident here, is that this earth needs a ruler. And the world hasn't voted for him and would not vote for him. I'm sure of that. But God's voted for him. And since this is God's universe, he's going to put him down here. And he's going to judge not after the sight of his eyes. You won't have to have a long, lengthy court case and then turn the criminal loose. And the thing that actually is rather terrifying and should be for believers today is this, that even believers are to appear before the judgment seat of Christ. And then a thousand years and seven, thousand and seven years later, there will appear before the great white throne, the lost. And he's not going to judge any of us, by the sight of his eyes, or by some witness. I thank the Lord for that. Paul said that he wasn't going to even judge himself because he'd misjudge. And there are two groups of people, I think, that they do not really know me or understand me. I judge it from what I hear from them. One is my enemy. He doesn't know me. And my friends flatter me. And They really don't know me. If they did, they wouldn't flatter me. And some of the others, the enemy, they wouldn't say the ugly thing. One day I'm going to stand before him. Now, the thing that really troubles me is that everything that's phony in my life, he's going to bring it right out in the open. So I've been trying to get the phony part out of it. I want to be crystal clear in my life. And friends, that's going to be quite a light to turn on some believers someday, is it not? This is rather terrifying. And this speaks of his coming to establish his kingdom. And at that time, we're told, and righteousness shall be the girdle of his loins and faithfulness, the girdle of his reins. The thing that will gird his reign will be righteousness and faithfulness. The purpose of the reign of Christ on earth is to bring in a reign of righteousness and justice, as well as restore the dominion lost by 